Hello everyone and welcome to Shifting Gears. In today's video, I am seated in one of India's most popular electric vehicles. This is the MG Windsor EV. So in this video, what we are going to try to achieve is to find out what is the real world range of this MG Windsor EV. As you can notice, the vehicle is right now on charge and we are going to charge it to 100% and then we will start driving. We will drive this car all around Mumbai and try to find out in the real world what is the kind of range that you can expect so that if at all you are planning to bring home this MG Windsor EV, you get a fair idea if this car is good enough for daily commuting or not. It has a fantastic cabin. The feel good is really, really top notch. It has ample space for you and your family members. But does it have that range to keep you happy in the head? Can range anxiety be out of the picture completely? Let us find out. So right now, as you can notice, the vehicle is 100% charged and we have a range of 320 kilometers. But how much can we drive this car in the real world? Let us find out. Let us start driving. Overall, this MG Windsor EV is a very effortless car to drive. Typical of EVs, there is nothing much that you have to do. Select the gear and you are good to go. And again, typical of EVs. It is a very quiet driving experience and it feels very comfortable and very calm. So if you're going to drive daily to your office or back from work, I mean, it is just so quiet inside the cabin that you can actually have a very relaxing time when you're driving this Windsor EV. And there is not too much of that motor sound that is heard inside the cabin or that EV whine which is heard inside the cabin at city speeds or even at city highway speeds so the cabin insulation is quite good and overall in terms of nvh this is a fantastic package for daily driving so since we are going to calculate the real world driving range let me tell you that the trip computer was at 269.5 kilometers when i started this test this range test so at the end of our journey we will do the math how much we have driven this windsor ev and how much more, how much more further could this car have gone? So in today's range test video, what I'm going to do is I will drive this Windsor EV in Eco Plus driving mode and with normal energy recovery mode. You have a total of four driving modes, Eco Plus, Eco, Normal and Sports. And you have three region levels, Light, Normal and Heavy. The driving modes are now self-explanatory. In Sports mode, you will get a sudden burst of power. You will get very sharp throttle output the Windsor EV will sprint really, really fast, typical of EVs. And then in Eco and Eco Plus, you obviously know that your throttle delivery will be a little dulled down for better efficiency, for better range. And then region levels also, something that you might know right now if you have been considering an EV. So in heavy mode, the vehicle, this Windsor EV will slow down faster and it will, you know, get back all that energy which would otherwise be lost while deceleration so that is also quite nice of course in light and normal mode also you get regen but in heavy regen is really sharp so it will slow down the vehicle say for example similar to what you notice and understand with engine braking in a regular ice vehicle so that is that these are the modes that you get in terms of having control over the battery pack and the motor and how you will feel from behind the wheel so now let us very quickly also speak about the specifications of this windsor ev so the mg windsor ev which i am driving today it is powered by a 38 kilowatt hour battery capacity the power output is 136 ps you get 200 newton meters of torque which is available instantly because this is an ev you get an automatic transmission so it is a two pedal drive and speaking about charging times with the ccs2 connector which you get with this mg windsor ev 
zero to hundred percent charge with a three point three kilowatt charger is going to take fifteen hours. Zero to hundred percent charge with a seven point four kilowatt charger is going to take seven point five hours. Zero to eighty percent charge with a fifty kilowatt fast charger is going to take fifty five minutes. And the maximum fast charging capability for this MG Windsor EV is 45 kilowatt. So it's almost 4:45 p.m. right now when I'm shooting this video. Outside temperature is 33 degrees, feels like 35 degrees. And speaking about air conditioning, I have set it at 18 degrees right now, and the AC is not at automatic setting. Fan blower is at level three. and i have kept the seat ventilation on at level 1 let me tell you in terms of ac performance i have no complaints at all you can notice i have direct sunlight coming on to me but i am a very happy commuter a happy driver in this mg windsor ev say for example if you have the car parked for a really long time out in the sun and then when you get inside the car it does take some time for the cabin to cool because this is a large vehicle but what will keep you very happy very pleasant inside the cabin is the seat ventilation on both the front seats you get three levels of seat ventilation and as soon as you touch that button to activate seat cooling seat ventilation you instantly feel cool air on your back and on your bottom because of that you will not be sweating when you are driving this mg windsor ev so I have no complaints with the AC performance at all. So we started at 269.5 kilometers. The trip right now is 295.2 kilometers. So we have almost driven 30 kilometers, almost, and we have 93% battery left. So only 7% battery consumed so far. We are stuck in a little bit of traffic because of slow-moving vehicles who don't plan where they want to go, and we are now touching the Eastern Freeway in Mumbai. and then when we go to atal setu we will give you a trip update once we stop now speaking about ride quality the mg windsor ev is a rather comfortable car yes the suspension is towards the softer side so it does feel a bit bouncy at times but it is not unsettled all the time and for a city like mumbai having a soft suspension is actually a good thing because the roads are just so bad they are so horrible that it is good to be in a vehicle with a softer suspension tune which will absorb those bumps and you will not feel the jolts on your back and on your bottom i have been very happy in the one week that i have spent with this windsor ev in and around mumbai when i have been driving this car in terms of ride quality i have had no complaints also the seats they are so good looking and they are so comfortable that you just feel at home when you are on the move it feels like your personal lounger your sofa at home has now gotten wheels and now you are moving out on your sofa the seat just feels so comfortable and because of that the ride quality is great the seat comfort is great and hence you will be absolutely at ease in your journeys in your ownership cycle but then that is my personal opinion if you have test driven the mg windsor ev what do you think is it a comfortable car for your driving style and for your desired you know taste in terms of performance and the way the vehicle should handle is it up to the mark for you you let us know in the comments below but in terms of my preference i am very happy i always prefer a more comfort oriented vehicle than a razor sharp outright corner carver because out on the indian streets you don't necessarily get those chances to drive hard and fast and also you don't know how other people are going to drive around you so a comfortable car is something that i value more and because of that this mg windsor ev i think it is one of the best electric cars for families here in the indian market and currently on sale so right now i am driving this windsor ev on the atal setu on the mumbai trans harbor link and as you can notice we have a water body all around we are on this really nice elevated bridge a very well paved piece of tarmac the only well paved piece of tarmac you can find in and around mumbai 
so if you want to enjoy a drive if you want to enjoy driving on a good road this is the only road option i think that you have and also the new coastal road but what i want to tell you is that i have now set the map to go back home although we are not going to go back home i have done this because i can then calculate how much distance i have to travel to go back home and how much range is left so this is my hack which i do when i'm driving evs so i always set the map to go back home even though i am driving in the opposite direction so okay. i know when i might have to make a u turn and go back home to charge an ev so now let me give you a very quick trip update we have done one way of the atal setu and as you can notice the trip is now saying 331.8 kilometers we started our journey at 269.5 kilometers this is the amount of range that is left which is 261 kilometers and 82% soc battery percent is still left so it looks like we have a lot of distance to cover we have a lot of range for us to try to exploit and get the battery as low as we can so let us continue and let us find out how good is the range of this windsor ev <music> So now we have been driving for a really long time we also had to take some break to have some snacks you can notice battery percent state of charge is 50% we still have 159 kilometers of range left and right now the trip computer says 425.5 kilometers we started at 269.5 kilometers and i think i am going to be tired before the mg winsor ev runs out of battery charge Let's find out how much further can I drive and how much further can this car go. So one interesting thing about the MG Windsor EV if you are driving your car in eco plus mode is that if your cruise control is set like I have right now check this out I am driving the car at 80 km per hour but if I try to increase the speed it will not go up it will stay stuck at 80 km per hour but now if I switch to eco mode and check this out now if i try to increase the speed now it can go to 85 or it can go to 90 so that is a tell tale sign that when you are going to drive it in eco plus mode your speed is going to be restricted to 80 kmph when you are using cruise control but if you get on the gas and if you press the throttle then it will start picking up pace and check this out it is slowly climbing but i think it is just going up and above a little bit but it is still restricting at 80 km per hour so that is a fine detail which i want to share with you about the eco plus mode which is available with the winsor ev this is purely for efficiency and for long range so now after driving this car this mg winsor ev for hours i am tired but i have not managed to drain the battery pack completely let me show you so check this out we still have 21% of battery charge left and 64 kilometers of range left i started my journey at 269.5 kilometers and right now we are at 519.6 kilometers i am sorry that i did not reset the trip but let us check it out right now so it is at 519. 6 kilometers right now and we started at 269.5 kilometers so we have driven for 250 kilometers we have 21% battery left and we have 64 kilometers of range left so with 250 if you add up 64 so check this out so if we add up 250 kilometers which we have driven with the range that we still have left which is 64 kilometers check this out the total range that we would have achieved with this car is 314 kilometers what is your opinion about the real world range of this mg winsor ev which is currently on sale you let us know in the comments below also there is a long range version coming out very soon so stay tuned for a detailed review of that variant as well